Everything you see around me is fake. My YouTube studio is actually very empty, but I'm able to create professional looking backgrounds like this, this, and this using AI. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do exactly the same for completely free in just 10 minutes. And if you stick around to the end, I'll give you some tips on how you can get the absolute best results. So let's dive right in. The first step is to ensure that your background is blank. Avoid having a lot of clutter behind you as you want to give the AI a blank canvas to work with when generating your fake background. And then make sure you're recording your video with good lighting. You don't necessarily need any fancy equipment for this. Right now, I'm recording facing a window, so I'm using just the sunlight. Also make sure that you're not too close to the camera when recording your video because you may need to zoom in your video and crop out the edges of your video when making your final edit. Now, when you're done recording your video, the next step will be to import it into your editing software and do basic editing like cutting out mistakes, the silent parts, color grading, and basically polishing your video as you would normally do. But don't yet add animations, stickers, transitions, or any of that fancy stuff. Just do basic editing for this step. I'm using CapCut for this, and you can use the free version of CapCut to achieve this as well. Now, after you're done with your basic editing and your video is looking polished, next thing you want to do is take a screenshot from your video. Now, choose the best part of your video, and if you're using CapCut, you can export a still frame. This will be the best way to do it in any editing software that you're using. But if you're not able to export a still frame, then you can take a very clear screenshot. Now, we're going to create a very realistic and professional background using an app called Adobe Firefly. And it's completely free to use. So all you have to do is go to firefly.adobe.com. Sign up if you haven't already signed up. Now, this website has a ton of AI tools that you definitely find useful in different cases. But for this case, our focus is on the Generative Fill tool. So go to Generative Fill, click on Upload, to upload your screenshot or your still frame. Select insert and then add. And now you want to mask out the area where you want AI to fill in. When you're masking this area out, give yourself a little space for head and hand movements. And if you make a mistake while masking, you can click on subtract and then brush over the area you mistakenly masked to fill it back in. When you're done masking the area that you want to use generative fill for, type in a prompt of the type of background that you want for the video. If you're not sure what prompts to use, I'll have some prompts in the description below, so you can just copy and paste them into the prompt field. Click on generate and let AI do its magic. You'll get three different AI generated background options and you can select whichever one you want, but if you're not filling any of them, you can simply click on more and you'll get three more options. And you can keep going by clicking on more until you get an option that you're satisfied with. You may actually need to try a few different prompts and generate a few different images to get the results that you are very satisfied with. And then when you get one that you like, select keep and then download the image onto your phone or your computer. Now step five is to add your AI generated background into your video. So go back to your editing software and import the background that you just generated. Place it on the timeline and drag it out to the length of your video. Now make sure your video is overlaid on your background and you'll know when it's overlaid because the background won't be visible anymore. Now to make your background visible, select your main video and go to the mask option. Choose the rectangle mask and adjust the mask height to the full length of your video vertically. And then make it a bit narrow horizontally to ensure that it doesn't cut too narrowly into your body but also allows the background to show behind you. Once you've done this, then you can scroll down to the feather setting and increase the feather to around four to eight, depending on your video. You can just eyeball this to ensure that it blends your video with the AI generated background and also that the blend is not too faded out. After you've done all this, you may have an Adobe Firefly watermark at the bottom left of your video. You can easily cover it up using your own logo, text, or even a sticker. But if you don't want to do that, you can always crop it out of your video. To crop it out, select all your clips and make them a compound clip. Then select the compound clip and scale the video up until the watermark is cropped out. Now this is going to cut away some of your video around the edges 
And that's why I recommended that you don't record too close up to your camera so that if you need to zoom in, it doesn't cut off the top of your head and your video doesn't end up looking weird. Now, after you've done this, you can then go in and add your transitions, animations, and all the extra effects that will make your video pop. And the final step is to export your video in 4K or high resolution to get that final professional look. Now, let me give you some tips to get the best results when using thick AI backgrounds. First off is try not to make any dramatic moves while recording. For example, if I move my hands like this, my hands disappeared. So try to keep your hands in front of you while recording. It also makes you appear to be a gentle person, even though we all know that you are in the boosting My next tip is for anyone who uses Canva Pro. You can actually play around with your AI generated background by using the grab tool inside of Canva to reposition stuff to where you like. I've used this several times to pick out different elements from backgrounds I generated using Adobe Firefly and reposition them around to exactly how I wanted them to be before then importing the background into CapCut to blend with my original video. So let me know if you'll be trying this out on your videos. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you leave it a like and subscribe so that you get notified each time I post new content. And if you did enjoy the video, I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy the next one on your screen. See you in the next video. Peace. The emperor, the conqueror, the champion, the lion of the stage. Who gets that? Engine is not well coordinated.